Boom! What up, Solar Next and Only? Are back doing some more League of Legends action. We're playing some Fizz in the top lane. Playing a lot of Fizz today. A lot of Fizz yesterday. I'm liking this this champion. Uh, what? Hit him. Let him know who's boss. If I got one more auto, I would have procced the electrocute. Probably should have committed for it. But it's all good. Uh, he's going to have his E up before me, so I want to be a little careful about that. We got same items, so. And he has, like, no sustain, just like me. So as long as I win these trades, I should be pretty good here. He might leap on me with this. Use his E, maybe. We shall see. Outplayed, Sokka. Woo! Nice little trade for us there. Let's walk away, drop minion aggro. Nice! Yeah, that's the type of plays we're going to need to win this lane. I played this lane earlier, and it's really fun, actually. I just had a team that was, like, super inting, so it didn't matter. But it's a super fun matchup, because there's a lot of outplay potential for both sides. Good try, bro. Uh, we should try and gank this for sure. Oh my god, I'm missing so many CS. Rip. There is my level 3. That's kind of what I've been waiting for this whole time. But <laughs> Hey, if I can start winning before that, I'll take that. I have uh, one po uh, one potion advantage. Unfortunately, the wave's like shoving really hard into me. So it's not always the greatest to have this happen during a gank. What I want to do is... Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah. Hmm. What happened there? How did I screw that one up? Did I flash too late? Or is it just out of the circle? Hmm. Stir arrange. Alright, he's gonna have to back and he's not gonna come back to lane with anything good. So, I'll take it. Probably shouldn't have flashed there. I thought I could maybe uh, land because he got the fear. It's like the E flash E. That was a little bit too far. Still, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna sit back, collect the farm. Bloop. I got teleport to get back to lane when I need to, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, lame. Oh, my nipples. Hello? Mouse? First blood. Unfortunate. Ram SOP. Looks like Ram is flash on him. We could maybe... Oh, he just warded the river. Interesting. What'd he buy? Yeah, he just got a Dorans, so... Not much. I'd love to get uh, some trades in here. Let's walk out. I'd love to get some trades in here right now because, uh... I basically come back to lane for free and nothing happens, right? And he's going to be missing HPs. But it's all good. I'm just going to save because I need mana for E. And I just want to force him into pushing. I mean, he's already pushing, so I just I just sit here, wait, collect this wave plus next wave, then I back TP. That is the plan. With Fizz, you got to play a little passive in some of these lanes. Because you don't have the wave control that a lot of these other champions have. Like, I, I really can't fight this guy for lane control with minimal mana when he is running Conquer. Because Conquer just gives you a lot. If you can actually sit there and hit the minions, he gets stacked up with his attack speed, obviously, from his passive. His Conquer gets ready to go. I mean, it's hard to deal with. But we can just sit on our tower, farm this up, back, get our really good buy-in. Auto W for that. Uh, I think I'm missing this one. Yep. And he took a tower shot. Go for it. It's all you, man. You can get that. If he jumps on me there, I just uh, dash out with E. Use the W increased range. Again. Again. This is probably going to be the wave that I have to back on. I think it's going to try and all in me off the cannon wave. Or off the cannon minion, rather. He gets uh, targeted by the minions there, so he loses a lot of HP. I think I'm just going to back her right now. He might actually just hard shove me in, too. <laughs> let me freeze. Or right, let me farm. I don't know, man. He's making some weird stuff happen with the wave. Ideally, he should have just... Uh, froze that wave that was pushing right there because he set up a wave that was going to push out to him so all he had to do was like not all in me and just like chill for like half a second the wave would overextend and I'd be forced to leave otherwise I'm really not losing here I could eat for this but I'm wondering if that gets me killed so I'm not going to do it Ooh. and this is going to be the wave that actually bounces it finally <laughs> poor guy <laughs> Just so hard for him to do anything here. 
Like, he needs jungle pressure to actually kill me. Now I just walk away. Get the teleport on. Get my real nice buy. <laughs> hey, man. Feeling good about this. Is he going to all in me here with Ramus? No, I think I'm alright. I got a ridiculously good buy here. And I teleport and hold out. Hello. That could have been boots, but I feel like this is going to be a little bit better. It's going to give me a lot of trading potential. Because the way we outplay it, it, it's pretty spell heavy. So we end up spamming a lot of spells to dodge out on his abilities. And it's kind of long trades. Multiple amount of cooldowns being spammed. So getting some extra mana is actually going to help quite a bit. For how these uh, trades are actually playing out. I can't believe you just let me farm like that. That's one of those things where th the correct play is to not just AFK push. Like he's 100% stronger than me right there. Like he had a... Uh, he had a Doran's, right? He had an extra 450 gold spent over me. With combat, a very combat efficient item. It's not like he had 450 gold of like boots or something, you know? Ooh. I think I done goofed. He's killable though. Yeah, I use E really wrong. But he's killable. Yeah, I can't E before he stuns, or I'm going to lose 100%. Uh, whoops. Hey, gotcha. That's how you got to be using the E. Give me it. Thank you. But, like I said, I set up an easy play for my jungler to come up top and get the gank going. Good job, dude. Mm, I probably want to be careful here, seeing as mids MA. Oh, he went bot. The jungler did. Okay. I'm going to push this in. Get on out. Cool. Well, let's be a little careful here. <laughs> Imagine if he like tries to flash on me. <laughs> and I just E away from him. He'll be very mad. Alright, I'm going to back real quick. Looking good. A uh, couple options here. I mean, I can just go like this and grab uh, my Kindle gem, which is probably what I'm going to do. Or I could grab my Sheen pickup, which... Honestly, it's probably not that bad. I can get Sheen Boots here. And then go for my uh, Proto Belt next. It's a little awkward that I'm not just like hard rushing Proto Belt. But I don't know. The way these trades play out, they're like slow. So I think I'm going to get a lot of value out of you know spamming out abilities basically. And getting the on-hit procs. And I spend more gold this way. Which is always nice. Bali getting ganked right now. I think they're okay. Oh my god, yeah. Can you hit that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hook! Beautiful. Flake! Beautiful. Nice fucking play. Nice play. Alright, good job, bot lane. <laughs> uh, I got the item advantage right now. Mm -mm -mm. But we gotta be a little careful. We have item advantage, but he's got creep advantage. This is going to be a lot of damage. The thing is, I press E, but I just can't press E to clear the wave. I have to use E in a specific manner. So it's kind of awkward. It's why you end up letting the wave come into your tower a lot. So, like, the tower does the work for you and pushes the wave back out. He's trying to, like, 1-2 jump on me. Like, get two autos off on a minion and then leap on me. But, I mean, it's kind of obvious. I'm just trying to auto-attack the wave down. So there's not as many minions there. Just walk away. All in off that. Bro, come on. I was gonna say, dude. <laughs> I was gonna be a little upset if that didn't kill. Alright. <laughs> gotcha. Easy peasy. Like I said, man, this matchup's a whole bunch of outplays. Like, my, my main goal, right, is to force him to use his E before I use my E. That's basically how I set myself up to win. If he uses E before me, I can use my E to counter his E, right, and dodge it. If I use my E before him, I cannot dodge his E unless I do some weird Q play and he makes, like, a mistake or something. And then he's just going to kill me during the stun, obviously. Uh, I should be using W there. And walk it back out. So wait. 
type nice plays. Uh, I don't know. I hardly ever type to my team. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, what? He didn't commit for the all-in, so I'll take free damage. <laughs> I'm just going to back, and I can uh, TP back to lane. Ooh, unfortunate. 100 gold away. I might sell my potions. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. It's probably not the greatest play. Just TP right back in. I got a control ward here, too. I'd rather be stronger right now. That's more important to me. I feel like I'm clicking on that minion. Am I drunk? Now the thing here is, we got this Ingenious Hunter. So it's going to reduce the cooldown of our Proto Belt by a lot. It's going to get down to like a 22 second cooldown. So, pretty ridiculous. Auto W. Get that Triforce proc going in there. Well, JK, not Triforce, Sheen. I could E for another proc as well, but I don't want to put my E on cooldown. Same reason I could use ult for another proc. Don't want to put that on cooldown either. Alright, so we're up in CS now. Let's get some deep vision. Start getting set up around here. Oh my god, you know how long that's been there for? I forgot all about that. Not that it matters against my jungler. Nocturne's literally never walking into that. Oh, I fucked up. Dude, I don't understand why he doesn't commit. Brother, I don't have my thing up for another three seconds. I feel like I should have died right there, to be honest. Eh. Nah, I would have ulted. But I feel like I should have been forced to use my ultimate and potentially have died right there. <laughs> I think he's being a little too passive because I'm still ahead. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we were going to go fight him. Bro, he's like level eight, man. What? What? Why don't we just kill his ass? I mean, I'm not going to swap when there's a giant wave pushing into my tower. First, you're not going to give you a billion farm. Ooh. This guy's going to die, though. Yeah. Got him! The snipe! I'm fine leaving now, but I just wanted to grab up that big wave. I'm looking for a play in mid here. This is a mobile, a mobile mid laner. So... Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, gotcha. Not sure why that guy tried to fight. <laughs> he got 1v1 by Nami. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a goofball. Oh, Nami ignited him. Alright, true, true, true. That's right. All the supports are running Ignite nowadays. And they actually do reasonable amount of damage. Like, Janna's Burst? Come on, man. Janna's Burst like 500 damage. Tossing an Ignite burning in there for like another three at this point in the game. That's a lot. Alright. Oh yeah, the true damage doesn't work on towers anymore. Boo. <laughs> Ooh, I want to go bot. So much farm down there. Yep, I'm going. Yo, Rocco, appreciate you. Sorry I missed your sub 13 minutes ago. Holy shit, I'm a terrible streamer. Sorry, brother. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew, man. Hope you're still around. Hope I didn't turn you off from me forever. Bloop. Come in here. Pop the E. Nice. Alright. I'm probably going to back in a second here. I just want enough gold for my item, though. Need 21, I believe. Oh, God. 21.50? Yeah, that guy got popped. I'm here, though. That guy's in trouble. That guy's in trouble. I'm gonna back real quick. Just grab this. I have too much gold, man. I was thinking about flash eing there. I'm not sure if I should have. It probably would have been a good option. Because I flash, I get to like here, right? As a Nami bubble comes, I flash, I get to here, and I can E to here. I think I just. Honestly, I feel like I get stunned the second I come out of E, but. It was a potential play. We got the 5 and 0, baby. It's time to int. 
Yo, Dark, appreciate it, man. Welcome. And Nap, appreciate you too, homie. Much love, guys. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew. Hope you enjoy your stay and all your sub emotes. Uh, second. Oh. <laughs> My poison ticked one more time before the tower hit. Ooh. Goodbye, buddy. All right, I just want to clear out this way real fast. Walk like this. Be back. Finish him up. We can look for invades or... Yep, I agree. Or that. Because as they do that, it's going to draw pressure from probably this goofball. And then I can hit him with an ultimate play. Which is what I'm trying to fish for right now. Hmm. I need to leave. Please. <laughs> Close my eyes. No! Oh my god. My God! Oh, the butt clencher. Whew. All right, that was awkward. I honestly thought I killed him with a W, and I tried to walk away to grab the lantern, and then I realized he was not dead. And all of a sudden, things got really, really scary. But if he honestly, what would have happened if he tried to turn around and auto attack? Is he would have died? Hold up, I actually think I killed this guy. Nah, I don't. He's he's probably too tanky right now to kill. Painful. Painful. Yeah, I missed that on purpose because he was gonna be too tanky to kill. Yes. <laughs> that was my subconscious saving me from a bad play. That's what that was. All right, let's grab this. Go for our Zanyas next. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'm probably going to grab this, to be honest. And then I can just wait for the CDR, and then we'll be CDR capped here. Which is amazing, because then you have, like, a two-second cooldown on your stupid E. Which is ridiculous. Not two seconds. It's, like, five point something. Five point two, that's my guess. Let's find out. Yo, Bob, appreciate it, man. And DJ, that one guy. 8-0, the epic dream. Appreciate you, man. Mr. Magoo with the seven month resub. The young fizz popping off. Love the stream. Keep it going. Walpole973 with a sub as well. Appreciate you, homie. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew, man. Much love, brother. Mmm, that was rough. Uh, six seconds. I was not close at all. Can I have this? Alright, sweet. Thank you. I think I'm going to go top, clear the wave, get wave, uh, shove past river. Because right now it's going to slow push to me until it hits my tower. So I just want to reset this wave. Oh, not reset. Uh, I want to fix this wave so it's pushing this way. And now I just roam. It's really easy. All you got to do is push past river. That's like the thing to remember. Push past river and then roam. Uh, he was in his W, so he's really slow. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. He was in his W, so he's super slow. And it takes like a second to get out of it. So I, I literally cannot miss that unless he flashes. It sucks to be you, Ramus. <laughs> Yo, Pingu, appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew, brother. Hope you enjoy your stay. Ooh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Oh my, look at this guy. Just kidding. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Poor guy. You just can't do anything to it. Man, I love me some Fizz. Let me see if I can go get this guy in bot lane. So what's the... Ooh. Oh, literally moved the last second, you sneak. Oh, man. Oh, 
Okay. Oh! Press the E key, Mike! Press the E key, you big noob! Oh my god, I tried to do too much before I pressed it. Oh my god. Never 13 and 0. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm such a noob. I waited so long to pop Zanyas because I needed to have my E available when I came out of it. I did that, except I'm still a big noob and I didn't press my damn E. Oh my god, man. That play could have been sick. Ooh, careful. Guys, reloading. I have 10 seconds and I can... Oh man, are they going to die? Dude, the poor guy was reloading for legit an hour. This guy is dead. Alright, I'm, I'm coming to get this guy. Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Alright, let's go mid. Dude, th at this stage when you're playing Fizz, I'm me. Good boy. You pretty much one-shot everybody. Oh, he ran past everybody. Oh, he missed all of his stuff, though. One more auto. Nice. I want a Q to this wave. Q. I can E here. R. Missed by a mile. Just kidding. Thanks for hitboxing. Bloop. All right. Good hitbox, right? Thanks for the help. Because I was going to miss that shit. All right. Ward. Q. Rip that guy. <laughs> okay. Poor Rambus. <laughs> Every time Rambus sees me, he just knows. He's like, yeah, I can't get away from that guy. He's jumping around like crazy. Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have missed my E again. All right. <laughs> Ooh, this guy, though. Oh, God, not that guy. Not No, 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 not him. Not the other one. I have red buff. I can actually stick around, I think. Uh... Oh, I didn't do it again! I'm trying to do too many things at once, dude. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> that poor guy. You don't think you can kill the other guy? I feel like you can kill Jax. You don't think so? I feel like you probably kill Jax. <laughs> if I prove anything, you can be absolutely terrible at Fizz and still get 17 kills. I, I would say I'm decent at Fizz. I'm just trying to do too much at the end there. I'm trying to like cheat so much stuff because basically what's going to happen after I press my Zonius is I'm going to be able to E and then that's it. So I want to get as much shit in before I can, before I do that, right? So I get it, like my Q and my W off and then press the Zonius. That way I come out and I just E and he's already 1 HP and I finish him with the E, you know? But I tried to sneak in this as well as the QW, you know, that's just, come on, Mike, that's too much now. All right, let's go for our death cap here. Uh, I could go void depending on how much they have no magic resist. Okay. And death cap it is, boys. Let's roll. Poor Ramus, man. He's tanky as fuck, though. To the physical damage. He has no magic resist. That's why I obliterate him. His W doesn't work very well uh, anymore. They basically made his W... They made Ramus always very good against physical damage. But they weakened the value of uh, MR on his W, right? You would stop that very instant. Are you kidding me? He takes another step forward. He dies. You don't need me, right? Yeah, you guys got that. This asshole. Literally, he walks one more step forward. I get him. All right, let's try and get a ward over here so we get some vision. Looks like my team's just leaving. I might just farm this and then back myself. Because I'll have 1100 and I can get this. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. My team's just going to back and get a... Uh, Drag the bot lane anyways. So we got some downtime before we make our... What is probably going to be our final push. Because I'm going to pop off and slay some people. God damn, this does a lot of damage. Just wait till you see how much my Lich Bane does. <laughs> it's like 400 right now, I think. Alright, alright. 321, 321. Not bad. 
I think I need a Void Staff and then it gets over 400. But that's kind of ridiculous because that's getting applied on our Q as well. And our Q is dealing, what, 143 physical damage and 400 magic damage along with this proc. for. Oh, there it is. It didn't update. Now it's 400. 412. Our ult's dealing potentially 1,300 damage. Our W proc is dealing 1,000 damage. I mean, come on now. Gotcha, bitch! Bye! Now that's what I call damage. Holy. Where you at, Ramus? Where is Ramus? The hell? That guy's a damn ninja. Oh, God! <laughs> Get him, boys! <laughs> no, Ramus! Oh? I don't know if he can finish that. Oh, he made me miss my fish. Oh, but he still walked into it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Fizz is kind of a stupid champion. I'm not gonna lie. He does probably too much damage when fed. But getting fed can be pretty difficult in top lane. I don't know. I feel like... Unless they have a ridiculous amount of CC, but you can even outplay that stuff. I don't know. The longer I play Fizz, the more I think it really doesn't matter who I play against in top lane. You can probably lane against pretty much everything. I mean, sure, there's going to be some matchups where you're going to get behind by quite a bit, but honestly, I feel like if you just get to mid-game and you make some TP plays, maybe, it feels really solid. Like, even in games that I haven't gotten fed in lane, it's kind of still wreck people in the mid game it's more about how you play that's kind of what i like though <laughs> the fizz solo carry <laughs> a little bit a little bit a little bit of that yeah i'm liking fizz i think i'm gonna stop spamming him though that's that's enough fizz for me i think i played like 15 games with him maybe maybe a little bit less but oh my god i love this champ real fun anyways hope you guys enjoyed that one make sure to tune in next time i'll catch you guys then peace